November 6, 2017, Monday of the 31st week in Ordinary Time. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, the gifts and the call of God are irrevocable. Just as you once disobeyed God but have now received mercy because of their disobedience, so they have now disobeyed in order that by virtue of the mercy shown to you, they too may now receive mercy. For God delivered all to disobedience, that he might have mercy upon all. Oh, the depth of the riches and wisdom and knowledge of God! How inscrutable are his judgments and how unsearchable his ways! For who has known the mind of the Lord, or who has been his counselor? or who has given him anything that he may be repaid. For from him and through him and for him are all things. To God be glory forever. Amen. The Word of the Lord. The Responsorial Psalm. The response is, Lord, in your great love, answer me. But I am afflicted and in pain. Let your saving help, O God, protect me. I will praise the name of God in song, and I will glorify him with thanksgiving. Lord, in your great love, answer me. See you, lowly ones, and be glad. You who seek God, may your hearts revive. For the Lord hears the poor, and his own who are in bonds he spurns not. Lord, in your great love, answer me. For God will save Zion and rebuild the cities of Judah. They shall dwell in the land and own it. And the descendants of his servants shall inherit it, and those who love his name shall inhabit it. Lord, in your great love, answer me. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. On a Sabbath, Jesus went to dine at the home of one of the leading Pharisees. He said to the host who invited him, when you hold a lunch or a dinner, do not invite your friends or your brothers or sisters or your relatives or your wealthy neighbors in case they might invite you back and you have repayment. Rather, when you hold a banquet, invite the poor, the crippled, the lame, the blind. Blessed indeed will you be because of their inability to repay you for you will be repaid at the resurrection of the righteous. The Gospel of the Lord.